Good afternoon, dear friends, and welcome to this celebration of the Holy Mass of Tuesday, 11 week in ordinary time. We pray for your needs and pray for each other. Pray for those who are sick in our families, those who have died. Pray for those who have lost jobs, those who are struggling, those whose families are in dire straits at this time. Pray and ask God's help and his support. We also enlist the prayers and intercession of our Blessed Mother, the Holy Saints, that they may intercede for us and ask God's blessings on us. Remember, for, remember to pray for those who have birthdays or other anniversaries today. May God bless you and may God keep you. Now let us go to God singing the hymn We Gather Together. We gather together to sing the Lord's praises, to worship the Father through Jesus' His Son. In this celebration, all sing with jubilation. We are His holy people whose freedom He won. We greet our Lord's presence within this assembly to hear his good news announced clearly to all. Our priest is presiding in Christ we are abiding as we invoke God's blessings and answer his call. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear people of God, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily, we call to mind our sins and ask God for pardoning. You were sent to heal the contrite of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us always. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, mortality, frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. Who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, After murdering, you have also taken possession. For this, the Lord says, In the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. 
They have said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered. Because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight, I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and cut you out of every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nebat, and like that of Baasha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel too, the Lord declared, The dogs shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's lion dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to doing to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Ahab, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time or bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to the psalm is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt. And of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you alone have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia. 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 I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory, glory to the lord jesus said to his disciples you have heard it that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but i say to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly father for he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, 
What's unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect. Just as your heavenly Father is perfect. My dear people of God, the gospel of the Lord. Praise Amen. to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, my dear people of God, this Tuesday, a brief reflection. And this reflection, particularly based on the command Jesus is given to us today. I don't know what or how you heard it, or what the Holy Spirit ministered unto you. When you heard the word of God coming to you, but I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That's the first one. What did the Holy Spirit minister to you when you heard? Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. As the Holy Spirit ministered unto to you, hear the reflection I offer you today also. To understand what Jesus Christ is really talking about, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Read it in line with our first reading. When Elijah found out that Ahab had maliciously killed why he possessed a piece of property, land. Now, think about that. Nebot's descendant, Nebot's household, even if the prophet did not find them out, do you think those who survived him will ever be friends, be in consonance, be in agreement or in one accord with Ahab or his, his descendants? This is, how, this is how tough this command is. And he's not giving it to us, he's not suggesting it. In fact, he says, you have heard that it was said, you have to love your enemies and hate your, you have to love your neighbors and hate your enemies. Now I am saying to you, love your enemy. Think about that. Your enemy. Who is your enemy? And how did he become your enemy? Normally people don't just become enemies, except where there is a willful malicious intent to just sideline, sidetrack, and do away with people. But enmity is built over time. Maybe friends, sometimes even friends become enemies. It happens because there is one who wishes to dominate the other, either in power or something, but the other resists. No, I refuse to be dominated. I refuse to be cowed down. And because of that resistance, there is friction. And that friction leads to so many other things. Or perhaps we become enemy because I notice you are sitting right in front of my progress. You don't want me to grow. You don't want me to develop. Whatever I have tried, you are just sitting. Maybe discriminating against me for whatever reason. Yes, you make sure I do not grow. We become enemies. How do we become enemies? Jealousy. People see perhaps you have a talent, a gift. You are liked. You do things. You make them happen. Instead of rolling around you, they try to pull you down, deflate you, and destroy you. When that happens, I know you want to get me, target me, we become enemies. And in all of these, so many things I can go on, it's weak demons. Let me be brief. But with all of this going on, what happened? 
there is this that I want to protect myself against you. And then, as I'm protecting myself against you, I see you as a prime target that you do not like me. You want to take my land, my education, my life, my possession. You want to take my family. You want to tear me down. You want to give me bad name. You want to do all of these things. So I have categorized you as my enemy. And I am a Christian. And then Jesus Christ is telling you today, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. We have to pray. If we do not do this, we are not going to be Christians. And it is not just going to be automatic to say, oh, this is what we have to do. In the first place, the invitation I throw to you today is what Jesus Christ is throwing to you. Who is that enemy that you have? And why is it that person is branded that way, your enemy? Now you know, you begin the process of reconciling. The process of letting go. The process of resolving. The process of dealing with that. That is what he's saying. He's not inviting you. Go there today. Tomorrow you become best friends. He said, be aware of that. And do not let that person be an obstacle to the blessings he has in store for you. Pray for those who persecute you as you pray. Ask God, why is this person not on the same page with me. Why do I not like this person? What can I do, Lord, to be in harmony with this person? As that is going on, you pray to God. You are aware of it. He softens your heart. Without giving an excuse, you become what he wants you to be. To love your enemy. It is not easy, but it is what you are called to do. If all of us Christians who have enemies decide to say, Today, as we hear this, we are going to start to love. What is going to happen? Before the end of this year, our towns, our country, our world will be a better place. Because if we do not, this is what happens. You saw the first reading. What will happen to Je uh, Ahab? What will happen to Jezebel? What will happen to all of these people? The God will come after them. Because he says, Oh, you have found me out, my enemy. Oh, you have found me out. When he was confronted, we will always be found because we cannot hide from God. We cannot hide from God. And when he discovers you, what will you say? What will you say? There is a threat that he can even cut your line. He said, I will destroy you and cut off every male in your line. Meaning, I will bring generational cause and destruction on you if you do not start the process of reconciliation. The process of love. The process of letting go. If you do not start to say, yes, in my heart, the anger, the resentment, the remorse, that revenge that I fear, and I sit down to plan to meet it out. If we do not begin to say, yes, oh Lord, this is tough for me, but I want to do this. I mean it, Lord. Give me your grace to do this. I mean it. And move towards it. We will always be having headaches. We will always be having pain. We will always be having sleepless nights. We will always be having emotional issues. We will have hypertension. We will always be having heart disease. Because when we think this person is our enemy, when we make enemies, we are enemies putting so much energy into it. So my dear people out there, love your enemies. When we do, 
in that way we are aspiring towards the perfection he is calling us to receive be perfect in this mortal life where there's so much imperfection he says be perfect just as your heavenly father is perfect what does that mean he has raised the bar so high that as high as it is you never stop attempting to jump over it the day you stop to attempt to jump over that bar you have defeated yourself you have given up you have stopped trying to be perfect but every day you wake up you say that is the bar the perfect bar be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect you want to jump over that bar then he, when you fail you drop the post you put it again you come you try again you come you try again you come that repeated trying 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 will earn you this one day you will become perfect again striving strive every day to be like god the father by beginning now to say let me read myself of every resentment hate malice dissension jealousy as difficult as this is may god give us the grace to move towards the right way in the name of the father son and of the holy spirit amen let us stand and pray father in heaven we thank you we glorify your holy name because you are god you have called us to be perfect and we start that by forgiving those who are our enemies. May we search our hearts, know them, and begin the process of loving you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father, the Pope. God, that you will bless him as he works relentlessly to hold the body of Christ in him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our country, the United States of America, and our individual countries, countries all over the world, particularly where enmity is the order of the day. Hatred is part of what happens day in, day out. That even Christians today, as this word is being read, proclaim and preached, that will start getting a rethink in their heart. That you change our heart from a heart of stone a heart of flesh. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, especially those under the yoke of the coronavirus. We pray for all those who struggle with the families left behind for those who have died. We pray for healthcare workers. We pray for those who are in the front line. And we pray for those who are innocently doing their very best to get up now, Lord, we may put politics aside, we put everything aside, that we may cooperate with you to bring an end to this madness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all the soldiers, especially those in very difficult positions, in places where it is so unrewarding, their lives are in danger. Lord, as I lift them up to you, O Lord, I pray for your goodness and your blessings upon them. Safeguard them. And be it your will, O Lord. Bring them home safely. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray for other needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We make all these prayers to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread and the wine we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands. 
May they become for us, O Lord, the bread of life and cup of our eternal salvation. Blessed be God. God forever. Lord God, we ask you to be pleased with us and accept the gifts we offer you be humble and content. Amen. Amen. What shall we learn with you? Thanks me all my sins. Pray, my dear people of God, that your sacrifice and mine may be pleasing to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Amen. Amen. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man and woman in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as with joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for his disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify this gift of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the past over, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your the death, O Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your son in whose body and blood we have communion and so having called us to your table lord confirm us in unity so that together with francis our pope timothy our bishop with the order of bishops, priests, religious, laity, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk forth the ways of, with faith and hope, we may strive 
to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us share the peace with one another. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who admonishes us to love our enemies. He who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternity. Amen. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. As this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, 
So may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please let us recite the prayer of Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel, yeah, defend, defend us in battle. battle. We, we are have protection against, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. devil. May, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the, by the power of God, God cast, cast into hell Satan and all the evil, evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, this Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen. We will sing the summons for our final hymn. Number 28. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known will you let my life be grown in you and you in me will you leave yourself behind if i but call your name will you care for growth and kind and never be the same will you wreak the hostile stay should your life attract us will you let me answer prayer in you and you in